Can it work? I don't understand it. Put that wedge of cheese. Oh, it was blue cheese. You saw me put it in here, didn't you, Belfry? Uh -oh. I, I could not tell a lie, Luther. I ate it. You ate my wedge of cheese? It was just sitting there next to that bit of apple tart you were saving for a rainy day. Oh, that's right, my apple tart. And today's a rainy day. Uh, I eat your apple tart too, Luther. You ate my wedge of cheese and apple tart that I was saving for a rainy day? Uh, I have a craving, Luther. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, he says. How do you like that? He eats my apple tart and wedge of cheese, and he's sorry. <laughs> I ate your chocolate bar, too. <laughs> oh, not the chocolate bar, too. What's going on here? Belfry ate my wedge of cheese! And I said I was sorry! <coughs> yes. <coughs> now you two forgive each other and be Come friends. On. Animals, of course, have no idea what it means to forgive one another. I wonder sometimes if we humans do. Did you know that the word forgive means to set something... Ah, there. <laughs> to forgive has a couple more meanings as well. It means to completely cancel a debt or sin. Forgiveness also means to remove the punishment that someone actually deserves. One more thing. Jesus said we are to forgive our brother 70 times 7. That means without limits. <laughs> you get the idea that forgiving one another is a big deal, don't you? Jesus told a story about a man who was forgiven much, but forgave little. Well, let's take a look. Shoebox Bible Theater. The Parable of the Unforgiving Servant. Once there was a king who wanted to settle accounts with his servants. A servant was brought to him who owed the king a very large amount of money. The man was unable to pay back such a large amount, so the king commanded that he be sold, along with his wife and children and all that he had to make payment. The servant fell down before him and begged that the king be patient with him and promised that he would pay back everything he owed. Then the king had compassion on the man, released him and forgave him his debt.
Instead of being grateful for the king's mercy toward him, the man went home and looked to see if there was anyone that owed him money. said angrily. We'll just see about this. Then the man went out and found a fellow servant who owed him a very small amount of money. The man took him forcibly and demanded, Pay me what you owe! Then his fellow servant fell down and begged that the man be patient with him and promised that he would pay back everything he owed. But the man had no compassion on him. Instead, he threw him into prison until he should pay back his debt. When the servant's friends saw what had been done, they were grieved. They went and told the king what had happened. The king was very angry and called the man to him and said, You wicked servant! I forgave you all the debt that you owed me because you begged me. Should you not have shown compassion on your fellow servant, just as I had pity on you? Take this wicked servant away and throw him into prison until he has paid back everything he owes. Did you know that because of our sin, we owe a debt to God that we can never repay? But God is gracious. Because of what Jesus did on the cross, he forgives everyone who turns to God and confesses his sins. <sighs> ah, there. Lovely. Since God has forgiven us, we should forgive those who offend us, don't you think? Take it easy back there. <laughs> Yahoo! So you forgive me, Luther? Well, all right, sure. <laughs> what a mate's for. I don't know what made me eat your cheese wedge, your apple tart, your chocolate bar, and your bag of cheese puffs. You didn't say anything about eating my cheese puffs. I didn't. Jesus said we're supposed to forgive 70 times 7. Don't you, Luther? Belfry, are you eating my cheese blints? 